Hey, what's up guys? So a quick POV video to show you how to shape a concave. I've gotten some questions from you guys uh, on how I shape my concaves. So I'm going to show you how I shape a mono concave on the bottom of this sup. Uh, this is going to be like a uh, really long surf sup. I'm just making a couple quick marks here just as a guide. Uh, this is going to be not a super like really big concave. Now I'm leaving a generous amount of room for the concave um, because I'm going to blend it into the rail. Um, so I want to channel out the center here. I'm just roughly marking this. It doesn't have to be perfect. Uh, this is just a guide. A lot of times uh, I don't even bother to mark it. So the next step I'm going to do is I'm going to take my power planer and, well, this is my, uh, that's my shear form, but uh, I won't use that right now. I'll use it later to blend everything, but I'm going to set my planer to about, I want to say it's maybe one eighth of an inch. But I'm going to go for about a quarter, I want to take about a quarter inch off the bottom, but I'm going to kind of leave uh, a little bit so when I use my, my shear form, so I have a little excess meat there in the foam for me to, to blend it all together. This is just to do a bulk stock removal here. And I make a few passes from the center, working my way out. And progressively, I'm kind of holding the planer on an angle. You can't really see it here. but uh, So I'm kind of channeling out the bottom. So if you can imagine that it's going to be like a spoon, the center is going to be deeper than the outer edges. So this just really speeds it up by using the power planer to, to do the stock removal. A couple more passes here and I'm pretty much done. I'm going to stop here. There's a few lines here, but those will all get uh, really blended out once I hit it with the, with the sure form. Switching over, I love this little tool. This is so awesome. So now I'm just gonna grind out all of that excess foam in the center there, smooth it all out, even it out. I'm going pretty aggressive on this because uh, I have an idea of where I want it. If you're just kind of, this is your first one you're shaping, uh, probably don't go like crazy at it. Just take a little off at a time. Here I'm just getting rid of those marks. You can see the concave is already starting to take shape. It, uh, it really doesn't take long. It's a very, very quick process. Uh, once you do a few, you can bang one out pretty quickly. Now, I haven't done anything at the nose because I've kind of taken it to the spot where I think the water's gonna start channeling, especially when you're up on a wave. But uh, on the tail, I haven't extended the concave all the way out. Now, what you can do is you can extend it all the way out and then you can shape like a double concave into that mono concave to do kind of like, um, some fancier bottoms, maybe like a spiral V, or this could transition into a V. I haven't quite decided exactly what I'm gonna do. Oh, there's me blowing off the, uh, the foam from the GoPro. But yeah, so the tail section there, I am gonna shape that into something. I haven't decided what. I'm probably gonna do like a two plus one on this board, 
uh, and then kind of go from there. I don't think I'm gonna leave it flat though. At the very least, I'm probably gonna do like two channels at the back, starting like right here, where I'm uh, shaping right now. So it's gonna blend out. But regardless, uh, let's get back to shaping this concave. So you see here now, I'm just kind of really profiling it down. Really, it's really starting to take shape now and even out. I got that one little ridge line there that uh, that'll come out with some sandpaper later. But uh, I'm almost done here. I'm gonna check it with my yardstick here or meter stick. And I'm just gonna now slowly blend it into the rail. Remove my mark line there. You want it to all flow. You don't want any real hard edges. You want it to, to blend all together. Unless you're going for a hard edge. You could do that too. That'll really release water. But uh, what I'm looking for is uh, a nice smooth transition out to the rails. And then I'm going to touch all that up with my sanding block later. And when I go to really blend everything together uh, in a later step. But this gives you an idea of how to shape the the majority of the concave. All right, I'm gonna grab my sanding block now and blend it all together. This is like 40 grit. And I'm just taking long sweeping passes all the way down. You can see here now it's really blending together really nicely. You don't see those ridges anymore. Okay, let's check it with the yardstick. And there you go. It's about a quarter of an inch. And then out through the back. And then back up towards the nose. There. Done. All right, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, eventually I'll do a build video for this really long 10-foot sup and uh, yeah I better clean up